What's up guys? I wanted to show off to you guys our new collaboration drop, Hyphy Cartel, baby. And I'm super excited because this fit is dope. So first off, I'm gonna just bust out my size since uh, you know I always be rocking my stuff. Here it is, you see. Bam. All right, first you got the Hyphy shorts, Hyphy Cartel shorts. They're in, um, what do you call these again, tie-dye? But this is like a dark blue gray right here. These things are hard, super hard. I wear a 2X. Noe, what size you wear? Uh, I got a large. Large, so Noe weighs uh, 250 and he wears a large. What are you weighing, 200, 208? Uh, yeah, 200. 200. Noe weighs 200, he wears a large. I weigh uh, 286 and I got me a 2X. So I got me a 2X pair of shorts. Okay, let's see. Now, I'm gonna show you this, where are they at? Okay, here we go. So in the hoodie, you guys have been asking for hoodies. So in the hoodie, I rock a 3X. Check this out. Super hard. Hyphy Cartel, and check out down the side. Hyphy Life, and Strength Cartel. Super dope, huh? Super, super dope. So this is what's gonna go down and look it. This, this is a pair, this is a match. So you guys definitely wanna cop both. Bam. Look at this right here. How do you do it? Sheesh, see that? So this is super hard right here. You guys definitely wanna cop this. This is a limited edition, uh, limited edition drop. We're not gonna bring it back. So if you like something, make sure you get it. And then we got a, uh, so yeah, I got a 3X hoodie, a 2X pairs of shorts, and then we got the Hyphy Cartel T. You guys are looking for something more simple. You guys don't like the tie-dye, blue and black. I, I wear a 4X, 4X, 3X shirt. We got the simple Hyphy Cartel shirt. Super dope, man. Dope colorway, sick colors. And, uh... That's what's going down, man, this Friday at 5 p.m. So make sure you guys go to strengthcartel.com. You can get it at strengthcartel.com. Um, you know, it's going down, 5 p.m. Don't miss it. And trust me, this drop is going to be sick and it's going to go. Oh, yeah, and we have a hat. I don't Actually, I don't think they all came in yet. So I don't know where the hat's at, actually. But um, I should have rocked it, but I don't have it on me. But, yeah, we got a hyphy cartel hat going down as well. But it is going down this Friday at 5 p.m., so be there. Let's get this work in, baby, but you know we got to kick it off with the dead game. Make sure you go to strengthcartel.com and get yours. It's time to get this money. We got to get paid out here, boy. We got to get paid, you know? It's mandatory. Today, this morning, when I got up, I was like, damn, I'm tired. And I was like thinking, my body's tired? Okay, tell my mind to tell the body to work. And I was like, damn, my mind's tired? So I was like, where do you go after that? If your mind's tired, your body's tired, so both of them don't wanna do it, because usually your body gets tired, but your mind can fight through it, and you're like, come on, let's do it. But then I was thinking, my mind's just tired too, you know, but then, one thing I can think of, but it goes back to your mind, is just discipline. Just knowing that I gotta get it done. Two, thinking about the outcome, knowing that after my workout, I'm gonna feel a lot better. Three, um, I just want to stay conditioned. I want to keep where I'm at. I want to maintain. I don't want to lose condition. Um, also, whatever. If I mess up on a cheat meal, I know I'm burning some calories here. There's multiple reasons. So I had to go back and think of all those reasons or else sometimes I would have been like, you know what? I just want to chill today, sleep, just handle my business, but skip the workout because I'm tired. My body's tired, but nah, I just got to think of some reasons why and uh, get your ass in the gym, baby. And this will help you right here. Get, get on that dead game, man. Get that energy, focus, pump, everything you need all in one. Let's go. Mm. Go time. Q&A, Q time. Q&A, Q&A. So... Anyways, how I met Big Joe, that's a pretty good story right there. 
I actually met Big Joe at a hometown buffet. He had five slices of pizza, two um, huge full funnel cakes, um, 20 hot wings with the bone, uh, four Diet Cokes, one nachos with uh, carne asada on top, um, two, two quarts of ice cream, vanilla with um, peanut butter, and a strawberry milkshake with a cherry on top. So I met him eating over there at Hometown Buffet. I said, hey bro, you're a big dude. You need some help with that food? And he said, nah, I'm gonna neck this shit. Ah, uh, it's playing. Anyway, <laughs> it's playing around. Nah, I met Big Joe in college, man. We were both at the four year, same four year college together. He was um, majoring in uh, criminal science. And uh, I was majoring in, um, in psychology. And uh, yeah, we met there. Similar interests, we both like to work out. And we used to get our money. We used to get our money together. We would, uh, basically me and Joel, we were basically driving partners. We'd hit sprints, we were the only two homies out on the yard hitting sprints. We'd be working out, push-ups, handstand push-ups doing crazy ass stuff out there, man. Trying to get in shape and get swole. And Big Joel, he had pool, he had all the canteen, he had everything, so. But yeah, I met Big Joel like, I wanna say back in 2008. Back in 2008, so that's like about 14 years ago. Been a minute, been a minute. But uh, that's my dog right there. But yeah, I met him out there in Centinella. Uh, community college, no, actually four year, four year university, Centinella. So, uh, but yeah, that's my dog. That's where I met him, and uh, we still boys, baby. We still boys. Do you like him doing music? Yeah, he's hard. I, I listened to him back. My favorite song he had put out was um, Payback. We used to bump that shit in the gym, in the shoe. Payback, baby, payback. That was my jam right there. Even Big Wicks like that song too. So, hell yeah. His, his music's that real gangster shit, for sure. And he asked, what would be your hustle if you didn't make videos? If I didn't make videos, what would I do? I don't know, to be honest. So I'm thankful for you guys, man. Be a tough one out there. You know, I find a way, always hustle my whole life, but um, thankful for what I do. And uh, everyone can kind of get complacent or, you know, get tired or ungrateful for what you have, but you gotta remember and think back where you've been. Some people don't want to. That, te that helps uh, tend to remind me of where I came from and where I'm at now. And I'm, I'm honestly, I'm blessed to be able to do what I love. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that you guys don't see and you know, really, even if we were to video it, you wouldn't be able to grasp and feel what it feels like to get every day, get up every day, you know, at six. You wouldn't know what it feels like to go to bed late, one, two, three in the morning because you gotta finish things. All you guys would see is just the work that we do. But a lot of things are just untold and that's why a lot of things that you do without anyone seeing you, that's what builds character. And that's what also shapes you in to the man that you need to be because there's not gonna be a camera on your life 24 seven. There's not gonna be someone there next to you to push you 24 seven. That's gonna have to come from inside. But um, to me, that's where you build character. It's like coming up when I was a youngster and I played football or whatever, wrestled any, any sport, but football was my main thing, especially when I went to high school. I put in that work, I'd be so crazy that I'd go play a game on Friday night, right? Bang out, play a whole game. And then cause I wasn't satisfied, I'd go hit the gym after the game. While fools were out partying, messing around, I'd go hit the weights. I'd go to the gym after a, a football game, man. So that shows you where my mentality was at to be, to be good. And I've been doing this shit for a long ass time. But um, where would I be without this right now? I don't know, but Right now, I don't really got that plan B, so I'm gonna just keep striving for 
for plan A right here, man. And I'm gonna keep getting, I hope you guys do the same thing, you know? Grind and follow your passion and your dream. What's your favorite sport? Oh, my favorite sport, I just said it, football, baby. Football's my favorite sport, man. Always have been. I still really can't watch NFL or, or sports because I still miss it. Any, anybody that will tell you that used to play back in the day or any, any sport that they love, it's hard still. It's like, I guess if, you know, sometimes when I see fools banging big weight and I'm not, I'm like, damn, I miss it. It's hard to watch it because I, I miss lifting heavy sometimes. And no matter what, even with the football, I still miss football. I haven't outgrown that feeling yet. Eventually, you know, down the line, I'm sure I'll be able to watch it without having that like feeling where, you know, I made a video on it, but that feeling that I didn't pursue my dream right there all the way, 100%, I do regret that. You know, because I honestly believe I had a shot at making the league for sure. I just lost uh, the passion and the drive, man. But, um, but hey, football is my favorite sport by far. Number one sport. Played every sport, but I got to go with football, baby. Can I do you weigh 270 right now? I currently do not. You guys can check out the video that we just dropped. I weighed in. I weighed 286. 286. And that was with all my clothes on, so maybe I'm like 285 or something. But yeah, I'm up about 11 pounds. Last time I weighed in about a month and a half ago, I was 274. So I'm basically 285, 286 right now. So now what are your five values? Five values? I never really thought of like just five. But the things that I value most in life, it's taking me a long time to think about it or to really know what I value or cherish the most. But for sure having faith in God would be number one. And then just number twos for me wouldn't even be a number two and two because I feel like they both come hand in hand, but just family and health, you know? You don't have your family, you're lost. You don't have your health, you're lost. If your family doesn't have your, their health, you're lost. So those would be, you know, the second two most important things, having faith in God, number one, and your family and your health and your family members and loved ones having health, man. Then if you got those, you're wealthy and rich, man. Because money can't buy, you guys know it's the cliche, money can't buy happiness, but whatever about that, right? But money definitely can't buy your health, you know? Once you don't have your health, you know, you're just, you're on your own, then it goes back to having faith, you know? So you might as well never lose your faith and uh, put that first. But yeah, family and health are definitely up there, man. I think about it all the time because you know, going through injuries or family members, going through health problems, you realize what matters the most, most and for sure those three, for sure. If you could travel anywhere in the world, uh, where would it be and why? Man, honestly, I haven't traveled too much. Uh, really not much, just within the States, pretty much, and to Mexico, I mean, that's our, you know, um, next door neighbor, but, uh, Anywhere for sure, I want to see the uh, pyramids, you know, and Tio Tijuacan. Those shits are dope. I've always wanted to go check those out. And then besides that, man, I like uh, the ocean, the tropical um, weather. I like to go, you know, where they have those bungalows out there on the water. Tahiti, I think, huh? And Maldives or Maldives. And then we're actually, and Antonio's from looks so dope with all the houses and the boats. Uh, Sorrento or? Sorrento, I'm off, yeah. I'm off the coast. In Italy. That looks hard. Actually, my business partner was just out there for a couple of weeks, said it was dope. But yeah, those like those type of tropical places I love to see. And then just the culture too. I love to see the culture and especially the pyramids and all the Mayans, Aztecas, all, all of that. That shit intrigues me. I love that shit. But um, yeah, so those are places I like to go visit. Hopefully when I make some time, I'll go, you know. But uh, till then, we're gonna keep grinding, keep grinding. Man, I would say don't go any more than six. If you're looking for just pure strength, no size, no conditioning, don't go more than six. I'd say two, four, six. Stay up in there. Um, 
and then throwing some more sets. So like, let's say you're doing four reps, all for strength, bang out three, four sets of that, you know? Or you could do something like this, bang out four sets, start with lighter weight, hit six, go a little heavier, hit four, go a little heavier and hit two. So you got three heavy sets, you know? But for strength, man, keep them reps lower than higher. how many meals do you do? Man, I don't really go, I'm not saying meals are outdated, but nowadays it's all about that calorie intake. So you gotta find out where your set calorie intake a day is, what you wanna do, gain or lose, and either stay above or below that. That's the best advice I can give, because I can tell you to eat 10 meals, I can tell you to eat two meals, but I don't know how much you're eating in each meal, so it won't really help. Boxing is super hard, especially if you throw in the sparring. Uh, it's definitely what they say, a sweet science. Um, it's about skill. Anyone can just get, I don't want to say anyone, but most people can get in the ring and just chuck haymakers. But um, if you really want to learn the skill or art of boxing, it takes a lot of work, man. I've been going at it straight for eight months now straight and i'm still only at the little tip of the iceberg you know not even above water yet so um it's super hard man but if you have love and passion for it you'll continue to want to get better that's a good thing about anything in life right you have passion or love for it you're going to continue to grow and get better you're going to have that desire and um you know, that push in you to want to do better. And especially when it comes to sparring, you know, you get lumped up, you get hit, you get a bloody nose, a black eye, you're gonna be like, I want to train a little harder so that doesn't happen to me. But it's really hard, but anything you dedicate or put your mind to, you know, um, you can achieve it. So, there you go. Are you ever going to go skydiving? Man, I thought about it, I don't know. I wanted to go skydiving. I just don't know if I could do it. Shit will be scary. Would you do it, Antonio? Skydiving? No. Nah. I feel like in my mind, I would play against myself like, man, you're, you know, you're a pussy, you're a bitch. Like, do it, do it. But I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I play in my head. Like, damn, you're scared, you're scared, do it, you're scared. But I don't know, man. I think. <laughs> I'd be qualified to do it, bro. We're too ahead, bro. I think you 270. 270? Yeah. Uh huh. 270, yeah. So, we'll see. I don't know. That's why you said above 270? Yeah, I said above 270. That's why I went up. I'm above the skydiving limit. Someone asked, who's your favorite ever pro bodybuilder? Man, my favorite, when I first started working out, the first person I watched when I started lifting was Ronnie Coleman. And uh, that was my favorite. I knew some of the other guys, uh, for sure Jay Cutler, cause he battled with Ronnie. Shout out to Jay, that's my boy now. Um, but uh, Ronnie, I thought he was just dope. He liked rap music. I liked it too. I remember Lyft used to listen to Tupac and I even think Snoop, all kinds of uh, artists that I liked. He had some dope whips. I remember he had like a Hummer, a Dodge truck, a Benzo, all types of dope shit. So I used to like that. Uh, and then he was strong too. So he was shredded up, looked good, but was really strong as well. So basically like all, ar all around, besides being Chicano, you know what I'm saying? Man, he was dope. He was dope as a lifter. And that was the first person I kind of saw when I started lifting, man, was Ronnie Coleman. And uh, yeah, that was, my, that was my favorite bodybuilder. I don't really follow, I don't have a favorite bodybuilder now or anything. But um, back then when I first started lifting as a young youngster, I used to watch some of his videos to get pumped up before the gym. Probably how you guys will watch some of my videos now to get pumped up. So, goes for full circle. Goes full circle. All right, my last stride right here. My last stride. I believe we've done like six rounds. Started off with 2.5 distance. Went to 1.5. Now we're down to 0.5. No joke right here. 
how many total distance is that? 10,000. 10,000? Yeah, 10,000 10, 10, meters? 9,000 meters. 9,000 meters? 9,000 meters, baby. And how many is that in uh, miles? Woo! Six miles on this bitch. Feels good. Got after it, baby. Hoo wee She. Ooh, got a solid day in. I love conditioning. I've learned to love cardio and conditioning. It's not only good for your body, it's good for this right here, that heart, baby. That's the number one thing, like I talked about it. God, family, health. Um, man, you gotta keep that health up. And it doesn't mean that you can't live hell, uh, heavy or you know live a, a nice lifestyle, fun lifestyle, but you gotta take care of yourself, man. That's something I've learned over time and that comes with age. So uh, hopefully I can shed some light on youngsters out there living that fast paced life. Maybe not the most healthy life. And then um, the OGs out there that want to make the effort to do better and live a healthy lifestyle and haven't just yet, man. Just know that if I could do it, man, on both, both sides of the spectrum, whatever, both sides of the field, I can. You know, change from living that unhealthy, bad lifestyle as a youngster to where I'm at now. And then also being older, being able um, to change my life around again from powerlifting and being overweight to now being back in shape and feeling good. You know, I know I still got pounds to lose, but I mean, damn, down like whatever, 70 pounds or so, 80 pounds. So it's still a huge change in my life and it's one of the best changes I've made recently so i'm enjoying it and hope i can inspire and motivate you guys and i appreciate you guys tuning in man so hope you enjoyed the q a um i know last time we saw a lot of comments that say like man we asked so many comments and you didn't get to them all so we hopefully got to some more questions if we continue to just answer question after question man it's going to be such a long video and i know you guys wouldn't watch it so sometimes it's better to break it up so um, we'll be doing it again. I'll ask some more questions and uh, hopefully you guys comment and then we'll answer some more questions, guys. So we appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Turn the post notifications on. And uh, if you guys want any of the supplements or merch, baby, go to strengthcartel.com. Keep banging.